good afternoon everyone i shall be discussing about the common uh, congenital anomalies of genitalia and the topics that i will be covering are hypospadias epispadias and ectopic vesicae ectopic vesicae also known as bladder extra so as the name suggests for the first two entities hypospadias and epispadias so hypo means lower epi means above so when the urethral meatus is placed on to the ventral aspect of the penis then the situation is known as hypospadias while when it's placed on to the dorsal aspect of penis then it is known as epispadias and ectopic vesicae or extrophy bladder is when the entire bladder is exposed on to the abdominal wall is what the name suggests so starting with the first topic that is hypospadias so in this the urethral meatus is placed on to the ventral aspect of penis so what happens is you can see in this case a uh, urethral meatus is present on to the distal aspect or very close to the glands while uh, in the very severe cases it can even be placed between the scrotum or you can see as it is in the uh, at the penoscrotal junction so this is how the, uh, it could be a simple milder variant or could be a severe variant so it is the most common penile congenital malformation in boys and second most common congenital uh, anomaly in males the prevalence is that it's uh, seen in 0.1% of all the newborns and the incidence ranges from 1 in 200 to 300 boys the exact mechanism or the etiology is not known however there are proposed hypotheses for uh, hypospadias and that those includes the genetic causes various endocrinal causes or environmental causes it has been proposed or noted that excess extru- estrogen exposure in utero when the fetus is in gro- fetus is growing could be one of the major cause for hypospadias also the use of pesticides plastics various medicines have been attributed to be the reason for hypospadias inheritance is polygenic and it has been noted that if, when uh, hypospadias is there in the family or when it's seen in the close male relatives then the risk is higher it is uh, documented that the risk is 13 folds when it's there in in first degree relatives also uh, if a sibling or a father has hypospadias then the chances of hypospadias increases in the subsequent the embryology wise it is noted that when the urethra or the penis is being formed from the genital or the urethral folds then at the time initially from 5 to 8 week when the genital tubercle is undergoing various changes at that time the hormonal effect is that is the effect of testosterone is which uh, allows the further development of the entire male genitalia as you can see over here a urethral plate is there and there are urethral folds between which there is urethral groove and during the pregnancy the, uh, or during the development time, uh, time this these urethral folds in folds to form a complete tube initially the tube the proximal tube is being formed and it said that the urethral plate is a solid plate which by the end of uh, g- uh, gestation it also tubularizes and gives a complete urethra however if there is arrest in this entire process at any stage then it could lead to incomplete formation of urethra and thus a uh, hypospadias can be seen so how do we classify hypospadias there have been various classification and also various surgeons define them in their own ways 
but most commonly classification is that where anterior hypospediasis are being classified or the posterior hypospediasis is being defined or you can say glandular hypospediasis then distal hypospediasis and proximal hypospediasis so the distal and proximal classification allows us to further define that how we are going to go about the treatment plan distal hypospediasis can be operated in single stage if they don't have uh, also the uh, distal hypospediasis have less less of the cordy while the proximal hypospediasis usually or most of the time they need some other uh, techniques involvement where the flaps or grafts may be needed or they have to be operated in a staged manner so as uh, this is the diagram of uh, a penis where the urethral meatus if it's present at the top then it's orthotropic or the normal urethral opening if it's in the glands then it's a glandular hypospediasis this area where uh, glands meets the penile shaft is called as corona so the opening below the uh, corona is called as subcoronal uh, meatus then uh, the mid shaft or the above the mid penile it's the distal penile hypospediasis for uh, and for if we'll go more proximal then it's a proximal penile shaft so if a meatus is present over there then it's a proximal penile hypospediasis then if it's at the junction of pino uh, pen, uh, penis and the scrotal folds then it's a penoscrotal hypospediasis then it could be scrotal hypospediasis and also it could be a perineal hypospediasis and the subcoronal hypospediasis is the most common variant of hypospediasis as you can see they will come to our opd and will say ki bacche ka peshab ka rasta niche ki taraf hai ya bachcha peshab aage se nahi karta hai so this is what is the common complaint the parents come with so at that time we do look at the placement of meatus how is the four skin of the uh, penis in the hypospediasis it is dorsally hooded since the urethral folds have not completely fused in the midline so they are similarly the prepucial skin which is also developing simultaneously with the penile shaft is also deficient onto the ventral aspect so it gives appearance of a hooded prepuce which is like a cobra head uh, as you can uh, resemble it with that uh, prepucial uh, skin is just coming on to the dorsal aspect uh, then the uh, glandular groove that we have to comment upon that if it, the tube has not uh, completely tuberized then there would be a deep or furrow like structure on to the glands which is uh, called as navicular fossa other defects that we uh, comment upon are abnormal penile curvature which is uh, cordy and in this uh, we have to look that what is uh, how is the uh, penis whether it's straight or it is curved so if it is curved then we have to uh, be uh, very vigilant during counseling the parents because if it uh, if the cordy is severe or it's more than 30 degree of uh, curvature is there then we have to initially correct the cordy before going for any urethroplasty other things are penile torsion meatal stenosis or uh, transposition wherein the scrotal uh, is encroaching onto the penile shaft and it gives uh, appearance as if penis is arising from beneath the scrotum and both or the scrotum is uh, just encroaching or is standing by the side of penis deviation of uh, median penile raphe angulated stream of urine or the narrow stream of urine could be a common complaint when there is associated penile torsion or meatal stenosis and when uh, this hypospedia is present in adult patient or beyond uh, adolescence then they may also have complaints of penile uh, painful erection painful ejaculation or uh, history of incomplete penetrance during coitus so in this picture uh, this is again uh, the distribution of uh, hypospediasis has been given where anterior hypospediasis are more common sub uh, coronal being the most common type of hypospediasis and this is how some institutes define or classify the 
hypospadias wherein the site of meatus is marked on to this chart the site of urethral uh, meatus should be commented upon before and after cordy correction the prepuce how it is uh, whether it's complete or incomplete regarding glands how is the uh, navicular fossa is it shallow or is it flat or it is uh, good then again for the cordy it is one of the most important thing that we have to uh, look uh, for urethra uh, for uh, in cases of hypospadias then also at the urethral plate whether it's uh, wide or narrow there may be additional uh, genito urinary malformation associated with hypospadias most common that are seen are inguinal hernias and undescended testes when these either of these two entities are seen then one must evaluate the child for disorder of sexual differentiation rarely with psychoiatric reflux uh, uteropelvic junction obstruction horseshoe kidney renal agenesis could be seen in cases of hypospadias the associations are more common with cases of proximal hypospadias certain name syndromes are also there in which, in which hypospadias uh, is uh, seen like wegger syndrome dennis rash wolfershon or chart syndrome uh, as i have been repeatedly uh, folk, uh, mentioning or uh, stating that cordy is something that one should be uh, very careful about the this cordy can be evaluated on table when we are operating the patient with uh, artificial uh, erection test wherein the saline is infused into the corpora and at that time of uh, on table the curvature is take, uh, documented and if it's more than 30 degree then we have to first correct correct the cordy and then have to plan for urethroplasty at a later date circumcision is what we always advise for to be avoided in all patients who have penile abnormality because prepuce is one of the major tissue that could be brought for reconstruction if there is any associated anomaly on the uh, penis the circumcision is very common in jewish community in the muslim community but with the awareness even they refuse to do any circumcision if they see if uh, that there is any anomaly on to the penile surface or the urethral meatus is not uh, is not um, not placed at the orthotropic site then they themselves uh, refuse for circumcision and send the child to uh, surgeons or the pediatric surgeons then for cases of proximal hypospadias we have to do some added uh, investigations like we may need to go for renal or the abdominal ultrasound to look for any other associated anomalies karyotyping should be done if one is suspecting any uh, uh, any possibility for disorder of sexual differentiation like if uh, there is associated udt undescended testes or uh, her inguinal hernia with the hypospadias use of testosterone derivative have been done for the cases where there is micro penis so as to elongate the penile size or for and uh, this also allows for better tubularization and vascularity some people are of the opinion that when a child has uh, micro penis and have associated cordy then they at times go for cordy correction initially and then give the testosterone testosterone supplement so that the penile size elongates and at the later date when they go for urethroplasty they have supple tissue with a good vascularity for urethroplasty the age for surgery is defined as 6 uh, to 8 months so as to limit the psychological stress and the behavioral problems by and large our main objective in management of hypospadias or correction of hypospadias is to straighten the penis with adequate caliber of meatus to give appearance resembling a typically circumcised penis or a penis with a four skin and an adequate cosmetic result, result from that repair so it can be done as a single stage procedure or as a two stage procedure so as you can see this is just algorithm 
wherein we have to just look what kind of hypospadias we are dealing with whether it's distal or proximal then again we have to check whether the cordy is there or not if cordy is there then we have to correct the cordy there are various methods for correction of cordy like degloving then nest beds uh, various plication uh, techniques if needed for proximal cases if we have got a big defect uh, Uh, for uh, big defect in the urethral plate such that we won't be able to reconstruct the tissue even after cordy correction or we won't be able to make a proper urethra from the tissue then we have to put some graft or flap so these cases do require stage procedures while distal uh, hypospadias can be done in the single stage if they don't have associated cordy and there are various name procedures available so what are the basic principle for hypospadias surgery it involves straightening of penis which is known as orthoplasty reconstruction of urethra which is known as urethroplasty reconstruction of meatus which should be of adequate caliber that's meatoplasty reconstruction of glands which is glanduloplasty correction of transposition reconstruction of skin of prepuce penis or scrotum as and when needed so there are various techniques or basic uh, fundamental uh, principles for each and every repair that, that is being defined however there are more than 200 procedures we cannot discuss about each and every procedure in this talk so the basic thing is that we can just go for urethral advancement for which uh, magpie gap procedures are being commonly done then comes the urethral tubularization which is being done from the uh, from utilizing the penile skin itself that includes thrish duple urethroplasty or the tips procedure then a ves vascularized flaps could be raised for uh, reconstruction of the distal uh, penile that those includes matthews or in the even for the proximal uh, hypospadias uh, larger flaps could be taken from the prepuce where where uh, this only prepucial pedicle flap repairs are being described or the tuberized prepucial pedicle flaps are uh, defined then again graft could be taken from other sites and could be placed on to that deficient area and on a later date a, a proper urethroplasty could be done over it so a most common procedure that we do at our center is with the buccal mucosa or commonly known as brackas technique so as you can see these are few surgical uh, uh, reconstruction that we did for a distal penile hypospadias or mid penile hypospadias or a proximal penile hypospadias uh, here in the proximal penile hypospadias i just want to bring into notice that this was a stage procedure initially cordy correction was done prepucial uh, flaps were being placed into this deficient area as you can see after cordy correction this entire area from here to here was deficient uh, in the skin so the prepucial flaps were brought further at the time of degloving or the cordy correction and so, and that time the urethral meatus receded back into the proximal penile region and on a later date it was correct so these are some procedures that i just want to show i don't uh, want you to go and uh, understand the details of each and every procedure but you should be aware that what all could be done for distal penile hypospadias or proximal penile hypospadias various procedure like uh, flap is being uh, taken up from this area again the matthews the flap is being mobilized in this the glandular advancement procedures were being done the thrish duple the tubular reconstruction was being done utilizing the available tissue tubularized in size plate is when you have a very shallow navicular fossa therein again the tube is being formed from the available tissues then there are various onlays uh, flap techniques where flaps are being taken and the tubular reconstruction is being done for the urethra so complication are more when it's a stage repair or proximal hypospadias especially when the child is very uh, or the in the older children immediate complication includes edema and bleeding the early uh, complication includes wound dehiscence infections 
or also when you remove the catheter uh, then you may find that the child is passing urine from your repair site that uh becomes urethrocutaneous fistula uh, and this can be corrected after 6 months as with a small uh, fistula repair procedure the late complication includes recurrent uti urethrocutaneous fistula meatal stenosis meatal stenosis can further lead to uh, stone formation diverticular formation and in older children they may have erectile dysfunctions when repeated surgeries are being done for hypospadias or onto the penis then the children may end up being uh, hypospadias cripple when the entire uh, penile tissue is lost and the uh, whatever tissue is left it is very deformed prognosis is that in last 3 decades we have uh, got better understanding of anatomy and embryology of the hypospadias now we have better and the refined techniques skill and there are experienced surgeons if uh, who can perform various procedures and some have even ex, uh, excelled with the single procedure for almost all kind of hypospadias they uh, treat so we now also have micro surgeries available better analgesia uh, options are available to us and these kids need to be followed up beyond puberty and also should also be assessed for the psychological issues if they have any thank you